What's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to show you some of my custom configurations in Dimension Drive. Um, so, let's um, start over here with my hopper. It's basically a Jeep. I have it modified and ready for off-road. It's got locking diffs. Um, you know, all that stuff. All the stuff that you need for off-roading. It's got a 4.5 liter V8 swapped into it. 5-speed manual transmission. Engine is stock, so I don't really think it needs more horsepower. Um, yellow, some chrome, chrome wheels, off-road tires. Big off-road front bumper. Um, has a blue interior. It's got the the black. Um, I don't know what you what you call those tops, but you, whatever you call them. Um, I really like how the yellow looks in the light. Um, next is one of my many 200 BXs. This is probably one of my favorite ones I've made. I made this one, this is like a, this is just a bunch of different mods compiled into one, like, car. Actually, I might even be like, I might actually like one mod, I think it's a few mods. I might add some more stuff to it. Let's see, full, full body kit, spoiler, exhaust. Uh, the front end here, that's a mod. For anyone who doesn't know, this car is based off of the Nissan 200SX or 240SX, whatever. It's called the Bishu 200BX. And it's primarily based off of the uh, S13. Um, but the mod that I have on this kind of makes the front end look a little bit like an S14. So, um, anyways, interior is pretty much stock. It's just got a steering wheel and a boost gauge there um yeah if we go into the parts here it's got also oh, i forgot to mention on the hopper it has race suspension this has um a cr20 in line four that's a mod um it's got lowered suspension it's got these nice wheels it's got some upgrades on the engine, some uh, reinforced block, turbo kit, it's got race tires, and makes some good good sounds. I'll start up all of these at the end of the video for you guys. Um, here we have a Bruckel Grand Station Wagon, I don't know how to pronounce the name of it. I'll show you which one it is. I mean, but I obviously customized it, but it is uh, this one. The SE, however you pronounce that. Um, I I don't know what this thing is supposed to be. Maybe like some old like Oldsmobile or Pontiac, some some sort of General Motors product. I I think. Anyways, lift it up a little bit, put some big wheels on it, put a bigger V6 in it, supercharged it. Uh, I think it has locking diffs, doesn't it? Uh, no, it doesn't, but it has a transfer case. And, let's see, yeah, let's see, I got a bigger V6 in it, it originally had the 3.3, I put the 3.8, put a stage 2 supercharger on it. Put a heavy duty long block so I wouldn't blow up the engine. Raise the suspension over it, put a skid plate on it. And, um, yeah. The interior is doesn't no, I got I think this has a manual. And yes. Nothing really done to the interior. Uh, next here we have a Savetta Bolide, which. Pretty sure it's supposed to be a Ferrari F40, maybe. Or just some sort of old Ferrari. 
or a bunch of old Ferraris mixed together. Anyways, I use mods to make this into an absolutely insane drag car. Um, like, like it, it, it's insane. Also, for some reason the UI glitches, and for some reason this stuff is down here. Anyways, um, so, yep, billet engine, that's a mod, and it's got the variable boost turbocharger. I have all this stuff turned up on the engine, and, have, and the turbo boost pressure is at 55 PSI, and this thing is an absolute monster. It'll probably beat almost any, it'll probably, it probably will beat anything that you put it up against, although it does have turbo lag, because, you know, giant turbo that makes 55 PSI. So yeah, I don't even know why I put the spoiler on. Yeah. So you have a a Bishu Pesma, the um, 90s version. Um, I'm pretty sure it's my. Is this supposed to be some sort of Nissan? Probably a Maxima. I don't know. Maybe. Um, anyways, this has got some mod stuff on it. It has a supercharged 3 point, not 3 point, I actually don't, it might be a 3 point something liter V6. Um, which normally you cannot supercharge it, you can't even turbo it, or nothing. You could only, like, put, like, a better intake on it. So I'm happy that there's someone who made a mod to be able to do that. And then it's got, um, a front lip, spoiler, um... So I basically just kind of made like a like another version of the car. Uh, I th like here. I think free onto my configurations for it. Yeah, supercharged V6 Sport. That's what I named it. Um. So yeah, if we go in here, 2.7 liter V6, stage 3 supercharger, ultra heavy duty long block so the engine doesn't explode into 5,000 pieces. Uh, V6 5 speed manual. It's also got a mesh grill. And the final car for this video is another 200 VX that has some mod stuff on it. So this was originally a custom configuration that was part of a mod. I'll show you. It was this car right here, and I used to kind of, I, you know, sometimes I just kind of like quote unquote role play by myself. So I had like you know like the car got in an accident, whatever, it was gone, you know, totaled, whatever. And then it came back, and then it was, and then it turned into a stripped out race car. So, yeah, no bumpers, no side skirts, carbon hood, no door panels, like on the inside, like door cards, uh, roll cage, racing seats, racing tires. It doesn't even have an exhaust. Um, so, yeah. And if we. Also, I decided to go with a very interesting color. Is if we go in here, we got the two two liter inline four stage three variable boost turbocharger, stage three performance long block, just will race ECU, five speed manual, uh, race oil pan, heavy duty engine mounts, and this thing is really fun to drive. Oh yeah, the interior. Nothing no special, it's just got a roll cage, racing seats. Just, you know, as any race car would. So now I'm going to start all of them up, maybe take them for a little drive. I don't know, I don't want to make this video too long. Anyways, this, this hopper did originally have the, the factory 4 liter in line 6. Right before you do take it off road, Rev it up a little bit. Let's 
so yeah, it's fully built for off-road. I mean, look at this thing. It's a lot of fun. Next vehicle. Also, yep, the UI glitched again. Hold on. There we go. So, the engine sound for this is, is reused from the Vivas. I have race tires on this because, you know, like silly distraction without race tires. It's not that fast, it's just, you know, it's supposed to be a fun car to drive. Over torquers, if you don't know why that is, shouldn't have that. It's yeah, pretty fun to drive. Why isn't this an out that... I hate the UI. Because as you can see, the engine thingy down here is not even Let me do this. Where? Right. I hate these UI glitches. I mean, this thing sounds pretty sick. I mean, this is meant for off road as well. Suspension is really soft. I have to make it a little bit stiffer. So it handles bumps better. Yeah, I think I just bottomed out a little bit. It's dope, but good off roads. Pretty decent. Should for me in a station wagon with a V6. Because this is beam and G drive, it wouldn't be a beam and G drive video without a crash, so let's wreck this thing. Oh! 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 oh. Sorry, the camera angle was bad. I didn't really know what to do with the camera. <laughs> Jesus, dude. There's not really much left of that. We'll save that for last. Next is this. Kinda does wheel spin a bit. Actually like a lot. Not really. It's, it's not that fast. Up to like 130 because it's only got a 5 speed manual and it shifts quickly. Mm. That's fine, it still drives. It still drives. Alright. Send it into the guardrail in slow mo. Oh. And it rolls. The DeLorean cla crash was definitely worse. If any of you guys saw that video, uh, stripped out to the race car. Mm -hmm. This car's fast, and yeah, let's do that. Oh, 
Okay, it's hard to drive. I, yeah. Hard to drive, but it's also a lot of fun to drive. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to drive normally in this game. It's... Oh, we're hitting a tree. Let's just put that in slow mo. Okay, we'll just leave that there. Room is here. I'm gonna go find the airport for this car, so I'm just gonna turn up the camera. Speed. Uh, over there. Give it a couple reps for you guys before we take off. Now it does have nitrous, but I can't enable it. Actually, let's see. If I do something in the vehicle config, I might be able to just let me just change the license plate design. There you go, and maybe. Wait, yes. There we go, nitrous is enabled. This is insane. Oh, we gotta go 100 times slow mo for this, because we're crashing the wall too fast. 140 miles an hour. Oh. oh my god. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.